Welcome to our fa Facebook Live crafting sessions from Come Crafting with Jill and Jez. I'm Jill. And I'm Jez. And every month on the first Saturday of the month, we do a joint live crafting session over in our Facebook group, Come Crafting with Jill and Jez. If you'd like to watch along next time live, you can come and join us. Just search for Come Crafting with Jill and Jez and when we get your message, we'll approve you and you can join us. Um, this month, our theme for our live crafting was birthday. So Jez and I both made birthday cards. I've used the Turtle Friends, even though it's a tortoise, stamp set. Um, and I hope you'll enjoy watching my video. So here we go. This is what we're making today. I um, oh, Penny didn't realise they were tortoises. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, they're tortoises. They're not. It's, it's, turtles are flat and got flappers. They haven't got feet. They do not have feet, um, turtles. Maybe in the in the US they call the more <laughs> turtles, or maybe they're all the same. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Anyway, this is because my father-in-law has three or four tortoises that they've had ever since my husband was four, I think, and he's now sixty-seven. So they're going strong, these tortoises. Um, I have to say, because I don't like animal sets, but he is cute. He is cute. I, I'm not. I'm not usually huge animal set, but I did see the potential in this for making a. Actually, Jeff's sister would quite appreciate this as well because she used to help keep the tortoises. Um, so I think it will get used, and I, he is quite cute, and it's quite nice having a punch as well. I've quite enjoyed using it. It's not really my sort of thing, but then I kind of think I need to showcase other things other than my kind of thing, really. So what are we doing? Okay, so I've done it on Sahara sand. I'm going to do it very similar today, but I'm going to change just change this matte colour and the colour of the greeting just to change it up a little. So piece of cardstock, fifteen by twenty-one centimetres score it at ten and a half i suppose i could have done this beforehand but i didn't that's just a standard sheet cut in half scored in half isn't yeah it? a4 cut in half yeah um it's eight eight and a quarter by six i think if you're well it's five and seven eighths yeah well that's why i don't but if you're in america as we've got penny with us that will be eight five and a half by four and a quarter won't it no four yeah because there's yeah, four eight, and eight eleven it's four and eight you score it at yeah yeah but if you're in the us it's four and a quarter because there's is eight and a half oh, oh okay yeah so right, i'll deal with that bit Jill. Just... <laughs> okay so this is the set we're using we're going to use these squiggles to do the background these little streamers um to do the background so i'm doing color on color so i'm doing sahara sand um stamping on sahara stand sand card Penny says they call that A2 in the US. Yeah, it's very confusing because because we call things A something, but they're not the same A's as no. in the A2 US. A2 is massive. Yeah, here, it's absolutely massive. Somebody so asked like... me, one of the boxes that I made for um, Memories and More cards, if they fit an A2 size card, and I went, I have no idea what size that is. No. <laughs> so I gave her the size of the box, and it would, yeah. have, been, it would have been all right. No, it's um because our A2 is four sheets of A4, isn't it? Yes. No. So I'm not going to do the middle. Done. Messed it up a little bit there. The stamp must have hit the side there before I got there, but I think it'll be all right. I think I'll get away with it. I think you will. You could always trim the corner, the edge of the card yeah. a little bit. Yeah. I've done that before. This is quite a fun stamp to do, background stamp. Well, where's that from? Sorry, I missed that. It's from the turtle set. It's in there. Oh, is it? It's in there, yeah. Oh, it's really I, cute. I like this cute little bird as well. I did debate whether to put a party hat on the tortoise. I thought it looked a bit childlike, though. I thought maybe someone who was 97 <laughs> might I don't be know. a bit childish to have a party hat. I imagine they've got a sense of, of humour. Oh, not, not so much. Gone. Not so oh. much. <laughs> He's a good bloke, but he's, um, yeah. Um, right, okay, so that's the background done. So to do the, the main part of the card, I've die cut with one of the dies from Scolloped Contours, are they called? From the Colour and Contour bundle. They're called something like that. It's this bundle, and these are the dies that go with it. These are the border dies. They're lovely. They are. I've only just started using them. I've yeah, just filmed yesterday lovely. using them. So They're amazing. So I like 
I like these ones with a scallop and a stitched border. I think they're yeah. really, really nice. So I'm using that. So we'll do that, that first. So where's my tortoise? So I need a piece of Sahara sand and my tortoise stamp and my memento ink. Stamp that. And then we're going to stamp it again because I'm going to cut out his shell. So there's quite a few thumbs up for the uh, contour dies. Anthony reckons yeah. they might place the stitch so sweetly. Yeah, no, nice. no, they can't. They've taken away our stitch shapes. They can't yeah. take away stitch so sweetly as well. well. Yeah, and I've just bought tasteful labels. They're quite nice as well. They're, they're, yeah. they're a nice label set as well. That I think passed me by a bit. Um, right okay what am I doing I've got cut crumb cake here and the the shell of the, uh -huh. there is a stamp that fits it says time to celebrate or something doesn't it T time to time to shell sh celebrate which All right. go in oh, yeah. if you wanted it to but I prefer it to just look like a normal tortoise so I'm just popping this in sorry my head's going to be over it when I get on top of it there we go so just put that on there and I'm going to cut that out so I'm going to punch out this first one Got to love a stamp set and a punch. Yeah, absolutely. I'm 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 using a stamp set and a punch. They are my favourite. Oh, I've done this. Done this in the wrong place. I'm like, I have to do the post-it technique. Should have done it. Yeah. The of the piece of card. How many times have we done that? <laughs> so many times. Let's get a post-it note so that I can manipulate it. So pop him in there and line him up. Right, get your post-it note caught. I know that's the trouble with post-its, isn't it? Push it down a bit. There we go. Just curls over as you put it in there. I sometimes just use a little scrap, a length of a yeah. scrap, and put yeah. a little bit of repositionable adhesive on it. Right. No, this post-it note does not want to play ball. Let's try it there. I'm going to be really annoyed if it doesn't it doesn't punch in the right place. Oh, that's better. I yeah. can manipulate it now. There we go. So we're going to punch him out. Uh -huh. And you actually get two little dots you can use separately. So you can leave his eye like that if you wanted to. But I'm actually going to use the two little dots in a minute to make his eye. Right, now with the shell, I'm just fussy cutting this as close to the black line as I can. Um, it's not too complicated a shape to cut out. Would have been nice if the if the punch had cut out the shell as well. Well, does it does it not? You know, with a little well, bit of extra snipping. Mm, well, this is what I'm doing. This is it's. I suppose, oh, I suppose it would if you wanted the. I wanted it to be really next to the. Oh, um, yeah. I could have done. Yeah, I could have done that. Um, but I wanted it to be really next to the black line. And it's not. But for those people who find fussy cutting. A pain, yes, of course you could, because you could just cut off his legs, yeah, and his head, and then you'd have it. Yeah, you could. Right, I'm just such a flipping perfectionist. <laughs> right, <laughs> I'm going to use some dimensionals to pop his shell on his back. Anthony says that he feels that he might be adding this bundle to his. Yeah, I, I yeah. Mean, it's, it's really not. It's not a me kind of bundle, but then there's a bundle in the. Christmas catalog um I can say can't I? I can't show you but there's a penguin bundle and that's not really me either but it's so cute I had to have it yeah um, so um and I think the penguins actually for Christmas will be really popular I think they'll be yeah one, I do one of the hits of the Christmas catalog yeah and, and all you people that aren't demos have now got to wait to be able to see it mine's coming on Wednesday <laughs> there we go some people have already got theirs Oh, well, did they pay a load of money for advance? Yep. You know? Yeah. I can wait. I, I wasn't prepared to pay an extra 30 quid, I'm afraid. No, I wasn't. Right. So That's what the Penguin there. Bundle costs. Why would you yeah. do that? <laughs> right. So he's going there. And then underneath him, we're going to do a little bit of grass. I love this little grass stamp from this set. It's really cute. Uh, I'm, I'm ignoring Anthony. He keeps mentioning squirrels. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Right, so we're going to do some grass along here. So I'll do one in the middle. 
onto the side. I'm onto the other side. Oh, right. penguins arriving on Tuesday with Debbie as well. Mine's yeah. mine's Wednesday. Oh, yeah, I think mine are Tuesday Wednesday. Well. Yeah. Um, and then I'm just going to colour a little bit of the grass with the light um, Granny Apple Green blend. So I stamped it in Granny Apple Green ink, and then I'm just colouring with the I'm light. Picking up on the vibe here. Jess must have mentioned not liking them. Yeah, I hate the squirrels. Well, I don't don't hate them. I think they are quite cute. They're just not my style, Penny. I I don't do animals really, except I just, penguins. I just can't think of any butterflies. To send a card to with a with a squirrel on it. No. Although, having said that, my daughter's boyfriend has just got a job as um, a park keeper. And mm. when she told me, she said, oh, and he's an actor. But of course, there's hardly any acting work still around. And when she told me, she said, oh, Harry's got a job as Percy the park keeper. And I thought what she meant was he was in a show of Percy the Park. Ah, uh, yeah. Um, because my kids used to love that book when he was. Yeah. And it suddenly, too. suddenly reminded me that Annie used to love the squirrel in those books. Ah. <laughs> uh, Penny's saying she thinks she's missed something. This, I think, aren't the squirrels in the new catalogue due out next month? The Christmas catalogue yeah. that. Comes yeah, we're just giving you little bits of. Yeah. Spoilers. Tempting, tempting you. <laughs> um, right, I'm just going to colour in his toenails with a little bit of crumb cake so they coordinate with his shell. He's a very fashionista tortoise, this one. Um, and then I'm just going to do his eye. I can get my stamp pad closed before I put anything in it. Right, so his eye, we need to go back into the punch and punch the big, there's a hole there and a hole there, or circle there and a circle there. You need to punch the big one with white, and the little one, which I'm going to have to cut strip, with black. It's actually really difficult to see where you're putting your strip with the black, because it'll show up like the white. But there you go. And then you can just layer those. Right, I've got my fine tip glue here today. I've got to get my Tombow out. But this is Tombow in it. But so that I, I would need serious glasses to do that. So that's going there. And he goes on top of where the eye is. I'm trying to keep part of the border showing because I quite like that. I've got a bit of post-it note on the back here. There you go. And then a little tiny top of glue, and you can put the little pupil on it as well. Cute. Like so. I mean, that makes it come a little bit more alive, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, it does. It just that. gives it a bit more character, doesn't it? And oh, then, uh, Anthony's saying, paint his toenails to match his outfit. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then I'm, I'm going to use Calypso Coral today. So here I use... Oh crumb cake but I thought I'd liven it up a little bit today and use a little bit of calypso coral so just happy birthday trying to get it straight and in the middle-ish oh not bad um, and there you are and then that is going to mount on a piece of cardstock that I've already trimmed and I'll tell you how big it is it is 11 and a half by centimetres that is 8.3 and that fits exactly with a little border around the panel that we've just made. Cool. I'm going to carry on using my fine tip glue as I've got my Tombow out. There we go. Just put that on there. And then that is going on our card blank, wherever it is. Like so. So I think that brightens it up a bit, actually. Rather yeah, than proper pops. Beans. Yeah. Um, oh, too much water in that pot at the bottom. That's because I just made my sponge a bit damper. The glue has absorbed it. There we go. And then inside, I couldn't resist using one of the little baby tortoises. Oh, Anthony's saying he loves how the scalloped border echoes the turtle shell shape. Yeah, yeah. There we go. 
and then inside I just use one of the little tiny tortoises so I've got a piece of cardstock here just gonna stamp in memento black again I think is that what I did I can't remember which one am I looking at yeah I did it in black just I like a little bit of something on the inside yeah and on the envelope sometimes as well yeah right and then I coloured it with that's dark I want the light I coloured it with light crumb cake which kind of echoes Sahara's the Sahara sand a bit and then he's got a little shell that you can add as well had a scare this week I told Jez I've got my, my Pinterest account suspended <gasps> I was in Pinterest jail for a few hours it was scary I don't know what I did I don't think I did anything actually I think a lot of people got put in Pinterest jail and then they realized it was a mistake but it was scary while it happens yes I haven't I, I wasn't sent to jail but I get a lot of traffic to my to everywhere well to everywhere to my shops and everywhere. yeah from Pinterest I do. so I don't need it to be deactivated for any amount of time really especially when we pay for yeah getting it posted on there yeah so, there we go yeah they didn't apologize really when they no. said anything. they just said oh it's been restored a bit scary right and then I'm just going to stamp in crumb cake his little shell the fingers in it <laughs> Anthony says because you blacklisted the squirrels <laughs> yeah it was a it was a glitch wasn't it or something yeah technical. People, people said it well I don't know how people know that I don't know but a lot of people got um suspended it wasn't just I felt better when it wasn't just me mm. right and then he's just gonna stick inside and we are done so this might well go to Jeff's sister then at some point because I'm um, not sure who else I'll send a tortoise card to. Yeah. Although like I said, if you put a birthday hat, I think they're quite good for kids. Yes. They're yeah. Cute and um, nice for kids cards. And I have got two two great nephews, so maybe they're, and they like grandpa. They're actually he's their grandpa as well. So right. or great grandpa. So nice. right there we go. I am done. There we go. Well done. Two, two tortoises birthday cards. Um, hope you like those. Hope you like the set. I think he's quite cute. I do. Yeah. Yeah. Surprisingly. Yeah. So yeah, not my sort of set initially, but I do quite like him. There we go. Right, I'm going to turn myself around again. Um, That's lovely. Yes. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that, watching me make that project and I hope you might, might have inspired you to have a little go yourself. Now you can pop over to Jez's channel and watch her half of the live crafting session where she uses happiest of birthdays and flower of friendship to make her amazing birthday card. You don't want to miss it.